Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Mr. Ahab, I'm your new teacher. For those who didn't see the post online, I'm going to be with you online for English lessons. And today we're going to get started right away with the uh, Unit 6, page 48, which is uh, technology. So we're going to be uh, starting today with the technology lesson for today. So I hope you're ready guys and it's going to be enjoyable so just sit back and try to focus with me and everything is going to be alright and uh, if you have any questions you always can reach me on Facebook or just uh, send me any message I'll be always happy to help you okay so today listen is technology unit 6 page 48 uh, and we are talking today about how important the technology uh, for the future. So we have here a really uh, challenging question here. We, re we need really to think about it uh, very good. Do you agree or disagree with this statement? Okay, and give reasons. Okay, technology is making the world a better place. So we all know that technology has benefits okay so we need to think about the good side of it and we need to list it down so we need to think about that uh, for a minute and uh, we will discuss this also later on and if you have any uh, you know uh, ideas or anything you want to add you simply just write down what you think about technology okay and how uh, technology is making the the world uh, the world uh, a better place okay so moving on uh, we're gonna start reading this part right here okay so we're gonna get started with the reading part what is the big idea right here what is the big idea when people try to make predictions about the future, they usually get them completely wrong, like the prediction made by T.J. Watson, the head of IBM in 1943. I think there may be a market for five computers in total in the world. Today, about 45 million VCs are sold every year in the USA alone and computers are part of our everyday lives but what surprises does technology have in the store for us in the future the answer is nanotechnology nanotechnology is the science of building tiny machines so small that they are invisible to give you an idea of the size of these machines, the difference between a, na a nanometer and a meter, two units of length, and the same as the difference between a marble and the planet Earth. Most scientists agree that nanotechnology will change our lives in the future. But how? At the moment, it's difficult to predict whether this new technology will be like a wonderful dream or a terrifying nightmare. So, in the 1966 science fiction film Fantastic Voyage, an inventor develops an amazing new way to cure diseases. He shrinks a group of scientists and their submarine and injects them all into a patient. They then travel around the patient's body, visiting the different organs and repairing them. Of course, this is just a film, but the reality of nanotechnology is not very different. Scientists are already making nano nanobots, tiny robots that are smaller than a virus. In the future, doctors might be able to inject these into a patient and the nanobots will travel around the body and repair the diseased parts. 
Okay, that's a very interesting story right here. So since we have read all the story, now probably we don't understand most of it. But why is that? And this is a common problem for anyone who's trying to understand anything in English, that we need to understand the vocabulary of this story first in order for us to understand the meaning of the story. So this is the main point for anyone who's trying to understand anything in English. First of all, they need to understand the words, okay, in order for them to understand the meaning of this story, okay. So that's gonna be very easy. So let's go right, ahead, right away to understand the vocabulary uh, after we have read the, the, this story to uh, get what's going on here. So uh, the first thing uh, to make a copy of something, what do you mean to make a copy of something? To copy anything, it's called reproduce, okay? So in order for me to copy something, I have to say reproduce, okay? And that goes on the, uh, you know, the uh, technology, basically, you know, this word, uh, reproduce, it has to be, or mostly, more uh, used in technology uh, career or parts. That's the first word. The second word, marble, marble. Marble is a small colored glass ball that children play game with. Okay, so the, the marble also can be used in the apartments, you know, we can use it like, you know, the, the floor, we can put like, when you, uh, if you take a walk uh, underneath your carpet or something, probably you might find a marble like uh, on the square shapes or whatever shape, and also the, the small, you know, uh, colored glass bowl. Uh, most of the children play with, okay? That's the second one. Environment. The environment, the place and conditions that people live and work in. So I, I for example, I, I, I work in a school as a teacher. So what around the school is environment, okay? It's all what around me is environment. That's environment in my home. Whatever is around me is environment. So uh, this is environment. Whatever is uh, surrounding us, we are not doing enough to protect to protect the environment from pollution. Okay. So this is environment. Cure to make an illness end. To make an illness end. The illness when you cough or you you know. You are sick, uh, you have flu, okay, that's illness. And when you take medication for it, when you take a medicine, okay, when you take a medicine and you have no more flu, so that means you are cured. Cure is the, 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 med the medication, okay, that you have taken to cure. Your, uh, your condition, okay? Nightmare, a bad dream. Nightmare, a bad dream. When you go to sleep and you start to dream about something, but this dream turns to be really uh, bad and annoying, then we can call it a nightmare. So a nightmare is a very bad dream. Okay, next, invisible, something you can't see, so anything you can't see, it's called invisible, the, the air, for example, the air is invisible, the air we breathe, it's invisible, we can't see it, so anything we can't see, it's invisible, next one, it injects, injects, puts a drug or medicine, into someone's body, puts a drug or medicine into someone's body. So when you inject 
a medication or medicine into someone's body that's called inject okay and of course we're going to be using a tool to inject okay that's injection uh, the needle you know what I mean a needle injects the drug or the medicine into someone's body next size how big or small something is when you say size I am you went to like the store and or the shop you are shopping now and you're trying to buy a new jacket so you're asking the, the, the man behind the counter you're asking him or her do you have the size uh, 14 whatever 46 you know so you ask him the size the size means how big or small something is virus a very small living thing a very small living thing that almost invisible but you can't see it by human eye you know that can enter your body and cause disease so the virus is really really small you know like almost no one can see it, uh, unless you're using a technology uh, microscope you know so the virus what enters the body and it causes disease it causes diseases shrinks shrinks makes something become smaller shrinks makes something become smaller so um, your sweater will shrink if you wash it uh, at too high temperature okay when, when you wash your sweater okay and if you washed it with the uh, you know like uh, a hot water it might shrink so when you try to put it on again when you try to put it on again it's not gonna fit it will feels like it's getting smaller that's the me that the meaning of shrinks okay shrink something getting smaller something getting smaller submarine a vehicle that can travel under the water the submarine is a big vehicle it moves under the water okay and it has officers and the whole crew on it and uh, it's like a, a, you know a big world inside a vehicle but it it's it, it travels under the water okay entire entire means the whole thing or the complete complete thing you know uh, so for example when I say entire I'm gonna put it in a sentence but I'm not gonna use this one right here I'm gonna choose something uh, more you know simpler we can say she ate the entire cake she ate the entire cake okay he spent the entire day outside he spent the entire day outside so he didn't come back home the whole day because he was the entire day outside or she ate the whole thing the entire cake all right next one organs parts of the body such as heart or brain that does particular job a particular job like with the organ it's called on the human body parts okay uh, like uh, you know heart brain eye you know uh, kidney that called organ in the human body consume to use something such as energy material ma materials or food okay to use something such as energy materials or food so he consumes vast quantities of chips with every meal he consumes vast quantities of chips with every meal so he's eating a lot of chips with every meal consume okay so this guy is eating a lot of chips with every meal so that means he's consuming a lot of chips okay predictions prediction statements about what you think will happen in the future 
Okay, that's a really uh, beautiful word, predictions. So I predict we're going to be good friends. That means I think in the future, me and you guys, we're going to be good friends. No one believed her prediction that the world would end on November 12th. So she predicted the world will be ending on the 12th of November, but no one believed her. Okay, so um, this is really uh, interesting vocabulary and it's very easy, okay? Uh, I think I have explained, you know, in details every single one and uh, for you guys, I need you just uh, to read it again and go back, okay, to, uh, we're gonna need to go back to the uh, reading part and try to read this again. So, since we already have learned about the vocabulary and the meaning of this vocabulary, now we can read this uh, part of the technology, okay, and we will understand every single details. Okay, so what we're we gonna do now, we're gonna read the, the part again of this reading part, and we're gonna read it, and we, you will notice yourself that you already started to understand most of the thing, uh, unless if you understand the whole thing, that would be perfect. So there was, uh, you know, a really good progress. But if you have any question, you always can ask me on Facebook, like I told you. Uh, that's basically what it is for today's uh, lesson uh, and what we're gonna do uh, for the homework we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this as like work out since we really have read the, the, the text and we understand the vocabulary so we have no problem to answer the questions so we're gonna start to work on the exercise and start to uh, see if we get it right or not so this is going to be as a workout for you guys the exercise of the reading okay and uh, the understanding the ideas as well we need to un to uh, to answer that and would you please for this part uh, i need you just to send me directly on facebook what you think understanding the ideas do you think science fiction books and films really show us uh, what the future will be like? That's a really good, good question. I, I, I really, you know, eager to know uh, your answer for this kind of question. So just for this part right here, I need you just to send the uh, uh, the question, the answers directly to me through Facebook. As for the homework, I need you just to go ahead and uh, work on the workbook pages 44 and 45 so your homework is going to be page 44 and 45 and uh, that's that's going to be it for today's lesson and uh, i'm as i said before i'm here always to answer any questions and uh, you have a good day guys and uh, be careful all right bye